So, what do you do when you get an extra three pounds of apples? I'm going to show you how to make cinnamon apple jam. <laughs> All right, guys, some of the things you're going to need, obviously, apples, any uh, size or shape is fine because you're going to be using sugar in this. So if you go a little bit sour, it'll make make it decent. Um, I found if I went with the sweeter apples, adding the sugar, it makes a sweeter jam that you can use. Obviously, a cutting board, peeler, decor, sharp knife and a pot to put all the uh the cuts in so what i'm going to do first is i'm going to go ahead and decor it and peel it all right guys got your apple i picked this up at walmart for a few dollars it's a decor uh, takes Apple center out. See. And then this to get the core out, that's what this is for. Put it in like so. And then you hit. Look at that. Perfect. Toss it. Now I'm going to peel it um, in my sink here. I have a one of those um, like drain stoppers so now I've already rinsed these off and then I'm just gonna go ahead and there's a lot of different ways you can peel this but because I don't want the apples to start turning brown I'm going to show you everything with one apple and I'm going to show you the end result here in a few moments because my assistant is out doing other things and uh, excuse me assistant coming through assistant coming through wait a minute, I'm going to need that uh -oh. <laughs> no no go ahead take it honey take it <laughs> Never find good help these days. <laughs> really? <laughs> All right, got it peeled, guys. Now what I'm gonna do. Let's go back to the cutting board, and you just want to slice it into chunks. So here's how I do it, because you're gonna be mashing these later. Cut them long ways, and then I slice them down the middle, chunks. Nice. And I'm going to put them in my pan, and I'm going to show you that here in just a second. Let me finish this one. And the good thing is, you don't have to be precise on this. I will leave the details to this recipe in the description below. All right, I have one and a half cups of water in here. So I put the chunks in. And what I'm going to now do is I'm going to finish decoring and peeling and chopping these up. So I'll get back with you guys in a few moments. All right, guys. Got the apples all sliced up, got it on the stove on high. You're also gonna need a potato masher, so that way you can mash down the apples. Over here, I got three cups of sugar, and I'm going to put in three, what is it, three-fourths? Yep, three-quarters. Three-quarters of cinnamon. And all these ingredients can be mixed together. And then we're going to do one quarter 
of the clove, ground clove. Now these are all uh, the cinnamon and the uh, clove or teaspoons. And like I said, I'll have all this down in the description below. Want me to mix that up? Nope. You're doing a good job, assistant. I'm being the assistant. You're being today. assistant. Can you mash since you're a little bit stronger than me? <laughs> Normally, she's my assistant. Yeah, but this time I'm doing it. Oh, and while he's mashing, um, you're also going to need two boxes of Sure Gel. And this recipe will make four, what are these, quarts? Pints. Pints. Sorry, I get them confused. This is why I have an assistant. <laughs> You know, it'll make uh, four pints in a jar. All right, I've lowered the heat to low now that it's boiling. And I'm mashing it really good. Stir it a little bit, mash it some more, wait a little bit. I kind of like the consistency of like, uh, like chunky applesauce. That's how I would best describe it. <laughs> And um, so I'm going to let this cook down a little bit longer, and then we're going to add all the ingredients in. So uh, we're almost there. And then also, too, um, what I've done is I went ahead and I got my water bath ready. I just use a big stock pot, fill it up with water. When I put the uh, jars in, I'll make sure there's at least maybe two inches above it to water bath it and we just do a water bath for like 10 minutes but I'll show you the process on that when I get closer to it but um, yep we're almost there all right guys I got it to the consistency I want um, like I said I kind of want a, a chunky kind of apple saucy all right so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour all the ingredients in. And stir it up. All right, so all the ingredients are in. And you want to then bring it back up to a boil. So I'm gonna turn this back up to medium high. And here is where you want to be careful. Make sure that, you know, with the sugar and everything, you do want to stir this continuously or every few seconds. Um, I've got some of the ingredients on the side, so I'm scraping the sides. But you're going to bring this to a boil. Then you're going to reduce it and simmer again until it's to the thickness that you want. Then we'll add in the sure gel. Okay, so as you can tell, it came to a boil, and you want to still continuously stir. I'm going to turn it down, so it's going to simmer until it's to the consistency I want it. See, right now it's kind of back to being runny, I don't really want that. Um, so I'm going to add the first box of pectin. stir that in now this recipe is called cinnamon apple jam I found several different ones online this one seemed to be the easiest um, unfortunately I don't remember I think it was like um, all recipes I found it on allrecipes.com or the Food Network. I can't remember which one it is. So, but um, this one just seemed to be the easiest and the most simplest way, and it tastes very sweet. Um, kind of like um, candy apples, would you say, Donald? How do you think it tastes? It's to me, it tastes like apple pie. Apple pie? Especially with the chunks. I mean, I consider this apple pie jam. <laughs> it is that good. Now you can see as I added the pectin, it's kind of thickened up a little bit. I'm just gonna let it sit here and stir. 
Then I also went ahead and we got the water bath heating up. I got my little uh, colander for the uh, to pour the stuff in and my little scoop because we plan on using this for as not only for you know jam on toast but also Donald wants to try it on uh, was it pork chops? Yeah. He wants to try it on pork chops. I'd like to try it, marinate it in it on uh, some chicken. Um, maybe for waffles, like a topping. You know, it's a season now. Fall is officially here. Except for in Florida. <laughs> But we do have a cold front coming in tonight. Nice. Supposed to a high of 76 tomorrow, you guys. Mm. That's the temperature of my house. <laughs> okay, guys. As you can tell, it's not as runny. So what I'm now going to do is... I'm going to go ahead and pour it in. Um, what you want to do is with these glasses, they're already, I preheated them, but I'm going to fill it up to about there. I want to leave enough room because this is the jam. And I don't want to take any chances of anything spilling. So I'm just going to pour it on in. And just take your time. Alrighty. Wipe it. And I got my lids and everything already set aside and ready to go. Just want to tighten it just enough. Set it aside. Go to the next one. Because all of these are going to go into the water bath at the same time. Okay, now all of these are finger tight and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and set them into the water bath. And if you have one of these, these come in handy. And I got my rag ready. I'm going to get them in first. Now, looks like it's gonna need a little bit of water, so I got some hot water here in a cup next to me. I'm gonna pour a little bit more water in. There we go. I like to have about maybe two inches above it. And we're gonna wait for this to come to a roaring boil, boil. and then we're gonna boil it for 10 minutes and then take it out. Okay, as you can tell, water's boiling. I'm set a timer. Oop, all done. Computer. Set a timer for 10 minutes. 
10 minutes, starting now. Ta-da! Okay, guys. I got the burner off. Still, everything's looking good. I'm trying to keep it away from the steam. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull them out and set them on my little towel over there. I tilt it just to get the uh, water off the top of it. And you just want to space them out. Oops. Try to do this one-handed. Looks good, looks good. And last one. Looks good, looks good, looks good. Oh, what already popped? That was quick. Yeah, that's the quickest I've heard it. <laughs> All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just let this pan cool, or the pot cool down. I'll empty out the water later. And there it is, guys. Cinnamon apple jam. It's not apple pie. It like it. Just because it tastes like it doesn't mean that's what it's called. As you can tell, Donald probably wants to eat one right now. Yes. <laughs> All right. And then I'll show you guys in the morning once it's completely cooled down. See how good they solidify. All right, guys. Here's the end result. It's the next day. And as you can tell... That one sat pretty good. They're all sealed. That one sat really good. Little runny, but that's okay. Because, oh, that one is perfect. Check that out. Now, with jellies and jams, as you all know, if it comes out right, it's great. If it doesn't, Remember, even if it doesn't quite set as the way you want it, you can always turn around and use it for marinades. You can use it for um, like ice cream toppings, waffle toppings, pancake toppings. Um, just, you know, use your imagination. with When it comes to food, this one's practically set, so that's pretty good too. That one's a little already not bad, but none of it will go to waste. If it doesn't get used for uh, on toast, it'll get used for other things. So there you guys have it. I got four jars. That's three pounds of apples stored away and use it for uh, later on. All right, we'll see you guys on the next video. Hey guys, if you like that video, Hit that like button, remember that bell, and subscribe. And if you want to see any of the other videos, check out everything over here.